Here we go. A little follow-up. The young lady running around screaming, everybody's hungry, everybody's hungry. She got arrested. Good morning, Tam. And of course, the cleanup continues around the city today. And we're at uh, one of the stores that was closed yesterday. Uh, yesterday, all the state liquor stores in Philadelphia and one in Wincote were closed after 18 fine wine and good spirit stores in Philadelphia were looted. It's unclear when the stores will reopen. The damage is still being assessed. And was there any liquor left? Any alcohol left in the building after that mess? This is just very stupid. I don't know why they keep on doing it. They're not accomplishing anything yeah. by doing this, you know, but they hurt in their neighborhoods, they hurt in their stores. Free iPhone! Free iPhone! Free iPhone! Free iPhone. Police are now using this video for evidence. People swarming the Center City Apple Store Tuesday night, grabbing phones and tablets and bolting. Oh my Please goodness. say that. Look at this. She is crying. I guess she didn't understand that inciting and encouraging a riot is against the law. And she's so young. It's just a shame. Voice to hear belongs to 21 year old Deja Blackwell, known as Meatball on social media. Meatball. Behind the narration, live streaming the looting, amassing thousands more followers, and broadcasting what stores and which locations to loot. Chaos started around eight. She gave the police all the information they needed. PM in Center City, the Apple Store, Lululemon, and Foot Locker hit, but it didn't stop there. The looting wow. extending to locations in Northeast Philadelphia. I wonder if Foot Locker, the back room where they keep all the shoes, you know, they have one shoe out, you pick it out, they go get your size, but it's in a back room. I bet that one was locked. So, I mean, what all did they, could they have gotten away with uh, looting the shoe store? Just, just asking questions. And West Philadelphia, mom and pop stores, pharmacies, state liquor stores. Wow. Police say a caravan of vehicles drove to different locations, all the while Blackwell broadcasting and encouraging people to follow. Now at least 52 people have been arrested, including Blackwell. You see her crying in her mugshot. She posted bail overnight and is expected back in court next month. Police say the crimes were not connected to the earlier peaceful protest over the earlier court decision. The mayor emphasized mm. that the looters need to be held accountable. We've made 52 arrests already and, and counting, and um, they're going to have to pay a price. This is not shoplifting. This is, this is looting. This is riot. Yeah, I hope they, they uh, at least throw them in jail instead of a slap on the wrist, because that's been the problem. And the DA uh, and the Justice Department, the uh, courts need to make sure these people pay a price for what they did. I hope so. Of the 52 arrested, police say three were juveniles. The rest were adults ranging in age. And there could be more arrests as they continue to go through evidence and look at so much surveillance footage. We're live in Center City, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News, Tam. All right, thank you, Kath. Adults. Only a few young people and adults out of the 52, they should be ashamed. They should just be ashamed. Or there you go. And that's what's happening.